Hey y'all, today we're looking at the Geo Cloud Pro 2 55 watt model. This is their newest model on the Geeky Cloud Pro. Uh, is it as bad as everybody says? I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's take a look. Hey guys, welcome back. I got a new toy in the shop. I picked up a Gwick Cloud. It's the 55 watt model. Uh, if you've looked this up and seen the Gwick Cloud in the previous iterations, you may have uh, noticed there's some kind of bad reviews on it. Not 100% bad, but maybe 50-50. Some people like it, some people hate it. I have had no problems yet. I haven't had it very long, maybe three weeks now. And uh, so far, it's, it's worked out great. Uh, I've got previous laser experience. I've got uh, mine the mess, of course. I've got a 50 watt fiber laser. And that's the wife's uh, heat press. And I got my Ortur, where I started out with on the gantry lasers. Terrible mess in here, but sorry about that. And uh, light burn. And I'm not sure what if it's just new users that don't really have any idea how lasers work or maybe it's just they got bad batches I, I don't know mine has worked superbly uh, some of the issues I've seen come up with the the camera the USB camera that they build in They say it doesn't stay connected. But mine has not had any problems. I'll show you the camera control. In fact, it's it's updating constantly and working like a charm. It's got two USB outputs for the laser, or for the one for the computer and one for the laser. So maybe they fixed that issue. I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, Lightburn recently came out with an update that takes into account it's got a squirrely z-axis uh, kind of setup on the old models you had to subtract your material thickness and then you know do some calculations as to what they wanted it to set to and Lightburn in the recent update has taken care of that you just put in the material thickness now and the software figures out what your Z height needs to be. Uh, see it there? It's cutting just fine. This is the first cut. I, I probably should have tested it, but I think that's just some soot in there right now, so maybe. Uh, other issues that I heard mentioned. Uh, like I say, the, the Z axis measurements. now I can't remember what they were <laughs> that's pretty sad uh, essentially this is a it's a Glowforge knockoff kind of made by GWIC they I think they make several other brands and just or they make it for several other brands and they just rebrand it because there's a the Omtech Pro or Omtech Polar uh, it's almost the exact same looking model and I think Monport, uh, there's another one, Monport makes a little desktop like this that looks amazingly similar to this one. So I think GWIC, who apparently has 20 plus years of industrial laser uh, build quality technology, whatever you want to call it, uh, makes it for all those guys too. So. The other one uh, I remember now. Uh, it's it's a cloud, so you like Glowforge. You can hook it up on their cloud software and run it from there. I haven't really messed with it. I've heard people say it's impossible to get it hooked up. Uh, I can't speak on it because I went straight. I already had Lightburn, and that's where I'm working on right now. And with Lightburn, I haven't had any issues. You uh, put it in there and and go. I will say the camera, which is probably me, it, it hasn't lined up like I wanted it to, or maybe I think it should. I'm sure there are some other adjustments to make it 
you know your your camera view on your light burn and the camera or the, uh, the laser view you get aren't the same. I'm sure that's that's me not having it adjusted properly. But like I say, it's uh, it's lined up perfectly. Or uh, it it stays connected perfectly. I don't have any problems dropping out. Um, and I've always been uh, put your material in there and frame it and see where it's at anyway. So. I don't rely 100% on the camera to tell me what's going on in there. I mean, it helps, you know, get you close at least, and then you make your adjustments on there. Uh, overall, though, it's a really nice system. You got your, if you're working with your cloud software through GWIC, that's your button to start your project, I guess, from the cloud. Uh, light burn. You hit the start button on the software and it shoots it over and starts starts lasering. So in that respect, I haven't had any problems. Uh, let me show you what it comes with. You've got your controller for your blower, which it comes with. Uh, you got all that tubing, which I should probably open the back door and let some soot out of there. I haven't got the tubing extended out yet. The shop's a terrible mess, I know. I feel bad about that. Uh, you got, it comes with the honeycomb bed, it comes with a rotary, which I haven't messed with yet because, like I say, I've been, usually if I rotary something, it's on the, it's on the fiber laser. Uh, you got to take the, for the rotary, you take the honeycomb bed out and there's a little cut out in the bottom and then it connects back. I think that's the connector for the rotary there. And then these two switches, you need to manipulate those switches in a way that the uh, gantry won't move it'll set up you see the little yellow arrow there it lines up on the there you go that's where you set your gantry to use the rotary and then the rotary does the uh, I guess that's the y-axis movements and then the, the x-axis just stays in place so that's a pretty good setup. Like I say, I haven't used that one yet, so I can't really speak of it. Overall, though, I haven't had any of the issues that I've seen. Like, uh, if you get on the GWIC Facebook uh, group, there's people just saying all kind of stuff that's not working for them. Or Now, this is the latest one. This is the Cloud Pro 2, and it's the 55-watt model. So maybe that's part of the issue. Maybe they've ironed all the problems out there, and... Now they're just working on moving forward because, like I say, if, if you've got a, a history of working lasers, uh, most of the issues are easy to, to solve. I mean, if you can get on the forums and look in Lightburn and GWIC, most people have already ironed those out on their own. So uh, I've heard issues with customer support. I, I will say that when I ordered it, I ordered it through their website, online, through the GWIC website, and my order went through and everything, and I kept checking for shipping updates and never heard anything. Now, I did contact the little chat window in the website there a couple times, and they were able to update me, but as far as the website updating and telling you what you got going on, I didn't really get a lot of help on that. But like I say, I, I did contact somebody via chat, and it, you know, they gave me a tracking number, and it, it worked until it got to the shipper, and then they gave me the, you know, they updated me on the, the shipping service, and I tried to check the tracking number through their line, and it didn't work. So I had to call the shipping service that was listed, and they gave me an updated tracking number, and... I mean, it was quick, probably less than a week total once it got moving. Now, it did take a couple of days for it to get in the system that it was shipped, so, you know. But that's the, that's the way shipping works from an overseas company. They, they do say these are USA-based out of California, so, and, and that would make sense. It did, once I got the shipping service, it was less than a week. 
if that makes sense. So yeah, overall, I mean, I, I could recommend it. There's no giant issues that are gonna, you know, keep a person who has some experience with lasers from getting this up and running. Uh, you know, it's a laser. It, it's There's technology and some ideas that are foreign to people that are just gonna jump in and, oh yeah, I'm gonna punch in some buttons and I'll make a design. There's a little more to every laser than that. So, uh, as a new user laser, if you can read the forums and follow along and get an idea of what's going on, I don't think you'd have a problem. If you don't want to research and you want to just punch a button, this may not be the one for you. So, there it is. We're, we're getting close. Let's see what we got. Made a little sign for the wife. She loves her grandkids. I do too, but we're just building her a little Christmas hanger for kind of have all the names of the kids listed on it and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so there you go. Uh, let's see. Talking points here, maybe. Uh, another one. The exhaust fan wasn't really working good. I, I haven't had any problems. Once you get this big inline fan going and even if you forget to turn it on, it it clears it out pretty well. I've heard some people say that uh, the little exhaust fan in the back chokes it out, but I don't think so. I've turned it on and it evacuates it pretty well. So yeah, I know this is all out of order. Sorry about that. I'm kind of flying off the cuff here, but I just wanted to get it out and let anybody know that's looking at the new one, the 55 watt model, that yeah, I recommend it. Like I say, do your research. Uh, if you know what you're doing with light burn and and you can read a forum, I think you wouldn't have a problem with this. I say this is my first uh, CO2 laser, so I can't really compare to anything else. But you know, I, I wouldn't have a problem recommending it to somebody if you want to, you know, learn CO2 lasers and do a little research. I say if you want to just put it in and press the button. You might stick with the Glowforge or one of those that are just easy. I mean, I, don't, I didn't want to have to get into the Glowforge uh, universe and be tied to their software when I already had Lightburn that I paid for on my other lasers. So, yeah, overall, I'd give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'm going to keep working at it, see if I can learn some more stuff. I've done a couple of projects on it. Did the little... Uh, Christmas ornament holder that you put the mini liquor bottle in. Easy money. Oh yeah, they do come with a little pack of uh, material that you can test out with. And like I say, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff that material that I try out on. So so far, I'm working pretty good. Okay, well, I don't want to get this too long. It was supposed to be a quick. Sure, I'd recommend it, but it's turned into that. Hey, if you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Uh, I'm going to be doing more laser stuff, obviously, so uh, I'll help you out wherever I can. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you come back soon.